liquid rubber. Will liquid rubber by itself solve a basement or crawl space water problem? You know, it's a funny answer because the liquid rubber is very important. But unless you put in the footer tile, the perforated pipe surrounded by stone, you're probably not going to solve your problem. Let's take a look at the steps that are needed to correctly solve a basement waterproofing problem. It really takes both to solve this problem. So we're looking at a new build and this is a crawl space. And what we're doing is we're prepping for the exterior waterproofing. This is something that you guys need to do before you finish your house. This is the easiest time to do this. And you can see what we're doing is we're digging a trench along the outside exterior wall. We've got to get down to the footer. And you can see it's not an easy task. What makes it hard is that all the mortar from the block has dropped down you know, into this area and we have to dig this out. But you can do this, this is not hard. Once we get this dug out, we'll be able to seal the wall with liquid rubber, add the gravel and perforated pipe and discharge to daylight. This house is built on a hill. You can see that water as we dig, it just it just follows us. It just rained here the day before and we've got to dig through this mud to get it out of here. Take a look. We can see we're right beside the footer. That's the secret. You've got to be right beside the footer, preferably beside, not on top. You can kind of see just how much area we had to excavate. This footer was really over poured. So now we're going to go ahead and put on the damp proofing. And this is a liquid rubber that we're using. You can see what we're doing is we're painting up to grade. Liquid rubber should be painted all the way up to a few inches above your finished grade. In other words, where your soil is going to be pushed back. And this, the liquid rubber, it does make a great seal. It creates a rubber shell that stops the water from penetrating the block. But by itself, it's just not enough. A lot of water still comes in at the footer level. So we need that footer tile. That's what it's called, footer tile, to collect the water and discharge it away from this foundation. In other words, that's going to be the finished grade when they come back in here and push all the dirt back over what we're doing. We usually put two coats of liquid rubber on. So the next day we come back and we can just, you know, repaint the entire surface again. Notice what we're doing here. We're also doing the inside, the, the crawl space, the interior as well. So we're going to prep some of that today also. The prep work, both inside and outside, is really not that hard to do as long as you don't have a floor above your head, as you can see. What we do find is, you see all that mortar? That's just excess mortar that those masons just dumped there. And of course we have to chip all that off and we need to be right down at that footer level. Waterproofing your foundation. This is a must for any new build. Here you see Eddie applying the damp proofing. Damp proofing is a substance. We are using a liquid rubber that forms a seal across the block to help keep water from penetrating the block. After we've cleaned off that footer and have our liquid rubber installed, you'll notice we put down a base of gravel. And this is right at the footer level. Can you see that? It takes a lot of gravel. And whether you're bringing it in by the dump truck or by the trailer, make several trips, it still takes a lot of gravel. We need to get that gravel about a foot above the pipe itself. Now we're on the inside of the crawl space and we're going to do pretty much the same thing except where we don't paint the inside of the crawl space. That's not needed. As long as we have a footer tile, a footer pipe down at the footer level, then this will drain. All the water that would ever enter that crawl space will drain away. You really should do both interior and exterior on a new build. In a crawl space, I really feel that the interior perimeter drain is more important than the exterior drain. As water enters that crawl space in the interior, we've made an island and it's going to flow over and up into the system and be carried away. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.